Hey guys, what's going on? It's Mr. Hunter here with your first grade lesson. Quick little lesson we're going to review because it's some of the work that you've been doing before, but I want to make sure you guys understand it. It's a lesson 107, pages 213 and 214 in your book. What time is it? Math time. You know what time it is also? Time for you to get a watch. <laughs> I have math jokes for days. You guys want to hear another math joke? Sam, you want to hear a math joke? Eliana? Dylan? Dylan, Dylan, my guy, he wants to hear a math joke. And Jeremiah, you always love my jokes, right? Don't say no, that's not nice. All right, whatever, guys. All right, here we go. If you have eight oranges in one hand, and then in your other hand, you have six oranges, what do you have? I'm waiting for you to answer. You said 14, 14, Sam? So eight oranges in one hand, six oranges in the other. 14, no. What do you have? You have big hands. <laughs> that was funny. Anyway, time to your math lesson. All right, guys, on number one, it says you're gonna write the sums and the differences. So we remember what sums are, right? Sums, sums are when you're doing addition. Differences, when you're taking away. So you have the first problem there. It says five plus five. That should be a pretty easy one. The way you can do this, guys, I'm gonna write this on my board. All right, erasing here. All right, the best way that you can figure out how to add something is first and foremost, before you do anything, make yourself a number line. So you're gonna go one, two, three, four. You keep going. I stopped at 10, but it's really good if you go all the way to 20. So you have five plus five. You're gonna go one, two, three, four, five. What does that give you? That gives you 10. So five plus five equals 10. Really simple, right? Sums and differences, you guys have done that pretty much. But wait, on the second line, they're gonna give you two numbers and they're pretty big numbers. So let's go down to number one on the bottom. It says 74 plus 25, that's a 25 there. So you can break it down, really easy. You guys can break it down like that if you need to. Four plus five is, what well, we got one, so what's that four? So one, two, three, four, five. That's going to give us nine. And then seven plus two. If we go up seven plus two, we already have seven. We go eight, nine. Oh, so the answer will be 99, which is one less than 100. All right. All those problems. Number two, write the combinations. It pretty much gives you the color of the marbles. Pretty self-explanatory, right? You guys have done that before. And then you have on number three, there's more work with clocks and time. The shorthand, if the shorthand is pointing to a number, what is that telling you? It's telling you what hour it is, okay? The shorthand always points to the hour. I'm gonna keep saying that, repeating it. If you have any work with clocks, you can practice at home. I have some worksheets I'm gonna actually be sending you guys to practice with clocks as well. So get ready to keep learning, learning more and more about that, all right? Shorthand always points to the hour, big hand points to the minutes. Number four. Circle the fourth fish to the right of the squid. Well, the hardest part about this problem is you have to know what a squid looks like. If you don't know what a squid looks like, see if you can look it up on the internet, ask your brother or sister, ask your mom. But if you're gonna circle the, the fourth fish to the right of the squid, the first part is knowing which one of these animals is a squid. All of these animals, they're sea animals. They live in the water and they need the water to survive. All right, let's turn it to page 214 and talk about what we're going to be doing there. All right, so number one on 214, it says, mark the bubble to show the colored part. Hmm, how are we going to do that? It's going to give you answers on the bottom. It says one half, one third, one fourth. So let's look at this. All right, if I have a choice and I have something like this, right? Now, if the answers can be one half, one third, or one fourth. If I have that, how many squares are there? There's one, two, three, four. So is it one half? Mm, I don't think so. Is it one third? Well, no, it can't be one third because there's one, two, three, four. So oh, there's one colored in and there's four spaces. So what would it be? It'd be the fourth one right here, or the third one right there, one fourth. That's pretty much what you're going to be doing on page 214 in your first answer. Number two, the word problems. 
You guys remember word problems, right? Yeah, so Wally Walrus had two long tusks. You see him, Walrus? The tusks that would come out of his, uh, his nose. It's almost like an elephant, right? They are each three feet long. Remember, when you hear a number, underline it first. So the first number we heard was two, two long tusks. Underline two, so that sticks out to you. That'll be the first part of the problem in the equation. Then it says they are three feet long. What do we do? Underline three and write that down. And then how many feet are both tusks? So what do you do? Are you taking away? Are you adding? Are you getting the sum or the difference? It's key to listen and to read carefully and slowly so you don't make any mistakes. Number three, we're gonna mark the bumble under the measure that is greater. One pound or 12 ounces. Ooh, this is really gonna be deep. And you're really gonna have to look at your notes and go back and look at that. So how many ounces are in a pound? Do we know? Do we know? I was waiting. So yeah, I was waiting to see what you were gonna say. You have to know the key. You have one pound, you have 12 ounces. Well, guess what? You have to mark which one is greater. A pound has 16 ounces in it. So is 16 ounces written down there? No, 12 ounces. So if one pound has 16 ounces, and then it says, or 12 ounces, what is greater, 16 or 12? You guess right, 16. So which one are you gonna bubble in? I just gave you the answer. All right, so you're gonna look at that for the gallon or the quarts, the yard or two feet. If you have a ruler, you'll be able to use that for the last two ones, uh, for the inch and the centimeter as well. Number four, you're gonna write the answers to the combinations your teacher says. Uh-oh, you don't have that in front of you. I'm gonna give that to you right now. So for letter A, I hope you're listening, you got your pencil. Letter A, the combination is six plus three. Six plus three. All right, for letter B, 10 minus four. 10 minus four. Letter C, four plus six. Four plus six. Letter D, two plus eight. Two plus eight. Letter E, nine minus five. Nine minus five. Letter F, five plus five. Five plus five. Those are your combinations. If you missed any of them, you know what you can do? You can rewind the video, go back and just replay it over and over, okay? And then last at the bottom, how long is the boat? You're gonna be able to use your ruler to identify that. Now make sure when you have your ruler, you're using the correct side. There's gonna be one side where a lot of tiny lines goes really, really like this. Those are what we call centimeters. When you're looking for the sign, it says right here, which is inches. So inches is gonna be the other one. There's an abbreviation for centimeters, CM. There's an abbreviation for inches. All right, that's an I, and I put a little dot there. So you guys have done this before, but this is sort of like a review. If you have any questions, email me, listen to the video again. I know I went pretty fast, but this is more of a review for you. You should be good. Um, I want to leave you with something at the end. Math. I've taught you how to say Bible in sign language. I want to teach you how to say math in sign language. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your three fingers like this, okay? Take three fingers. You're going to put them like that. You see how my thumb is on my pinky? All right? Now you're going to turn your hand sideways like that. And you're going to go, math. Math. You bring it down, I'm, I'm doing it by my face, but you bring it down lower. So you're gonna have your three fingers, your fingers on your pinky, and you're gonna say, math. We just learned math. That's your math lesson for today. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, let me know. Love you guys.